Robbie, I've been dying to sit down with you and just bounce questions off of you because I know your phone blows up in the spring and the summer and the fall and the winter. And a lot of us hunters probably are asking a lot of the same questions. Yeah. So we're going to do a series where I get to just ask any question and uh, grill your knowledge. How's that? I love it. All right. So the, it. the first one, which I, I'm guessing you've never heard this before. What's the best plot to hunt over this fall, Robbie? <laughs> The, the best answer I can give you is an antler king plot. Okay, that, perfect. Good answer. Give you. Uh, you know, there's a lot of different ways you can look at it. And I try to steer everybody the best I can. When it comes to if you only have one place uh, to put a food plot, you can only plant one plot, I'm always going to go with a perennial like a trophy clover. I want something that's going to hold them deer on the property 12 months out of the year. They will be in there eating it. But at the same time, when it comes to late, later in the season, during your hunting season, you need an energy food source, not only a protein. So then deer need that energy to fatten up after the rut, make them 100% for the next spring. So late season, you can't beat our honey hole. If you want something that has a little bit of late season, a little bit of early season, you want to go ahead and plant something like our slam dunk or grade eight, something like that. Now for me, I'm a diehard guy when it comes to taking our honey hole and our slam dunk, mixing it together, rationing it out so you don't overseed the plot with too much seed. And that's gonna give you an, a tremendous amount of late season and it's gonna give you a fair amount of early season food. And, and not that that's difficult, but it's not all, it's not as easy as it sounds because if I've got a half acre bag, you know, of honey hole and a half acre bag of slam dunk and I've only got a half acre plot to do, yep. I know I've heard you say before, don't just dump both bags no. in. Because yeah. your, your seed's going to, like, basically is a compete. They're going to compete with each other. They're going to starve each other for nutrition. They're going to grow up about three to four inches tall, look beautiful. And within two weeks, they're they're dying out, stunned out dead. They just don't have the nutrition. Yeah, they don't have the nutrition. So yeah. the, the, the tail of the tape there is, is quarter bag and quarter bag, yep. mix it together, then do your half acre bag. Absolutely, because our honey hole is a half acre bag where our slam dunk's only a quarter. Okay. So just split that honey hole in half, mix half honey hole and one full bag of slam dunk, and you got a perfect half acre mix right there that's awesome um all right so we're going to keep getting into these questions um and check back often because i'm going to try to grill robbie for every ounce of knowledge that he's got